random mole it just appeared. <laughs> Hello from Riverside Boondocking. We came down from the mountains to this valley and it's gorgeous here too. And it's like seven degrees warmer when you come to the valley. So our thinking of going to the mountains for the summertime should work. The place we are parked is really pretty and Joni did found this from the Google satellite map because we are in the Peloponnes area in the middle of the whole peninsula so there's not much park for night places for example and all the park for night places are next to the highways some layabouts so and we don't want to use those we want to come to the nature yeah so you need to do some googling but there was a couple of good spots on the way here uh, some uh, chapels they usually go gravel road to the chapel and you are in the middle of nature there and chapels are always in the most beautiful places where the most nice scenery is around thanks Yoni for finding this gorgeous place for us to enjoy yes now eat I'm hungry really hungry this is real van life darkness to the van and making pitas our favorite thing in, in Greece Pitas. There are dozens of different kind of pita breads that you can find in different stores and you should uh, taste them all. I think uh, this has been our favorite. It's minus 30 also <laughs> at the moment. But 70 cents or 1 euro for one pack of pita bread. It is quite good. But this is reality in uh, summertime. Blinds. Because these blinds the outside is 38, inside it's 28, so it's 10 degrees colder. So I think this would be the first thing that I would buy to self-converted van, these blinds. When you go to the authentic Greek restaurants or taverna, the gyros looks totally different that we have. But we prefer our way of eating these pita breads. So we can change the ingredients and we like to put tons of vegetables there. But of course we will put a hinge of feta cheese and tzatziki also inside of our gyros. We could eat this forever and every day. These are our new tortilla wraps. There's a little German living in all of us. We put that reflector there because we didn't, we didn't want anyone to cross our van. Seems like the locals are driving like maniacs on this road, so maybe they slow down a bit when they are seeing that reflector. We need to park our van just beside the road because this is a really small parking lot which is already full. We are not 10 a.m. people, we are 12 a.m. people. We call 10 a.m. people those who come to the hikes at 10 a.m. They started. We usually start at 8 a.m. That is our like goal, but we rarely achieved that anymore. We drove here from our wild camping spot from the river. It was slow drive because of the really small roads and lots of towns that we had to pass. And also admiring just uh, the surroundings, lush green surroundings. I think three or four hour hike to two monasteries on the gorge. It will be fun. We are going there, up there. This tiny chapel. As in Spain, most of the hiking routes goes in the valleys and in the forests. Yes, there are hiking routes also in the uh, more southern part of the Peloponnes where not that much trees. But I think the most popular ones are always shaded. So these are walkable also in the summertime. Even if we are moaning about the hot weather. Really pleasant. Pleasant weather to walk here. Now when we are going down, <laughs> downhill. And then we are going uphill, we are moaning, moaning again. Just get used to our moaning. 
He loved moaning. <laughs> Randa Mooli just appears. A little break from the climbing and the boulders here in the gorge are huge. It's hot and we are terrified about upcoming summer. Because now springtime, the ground here on the shade, it's, it's cold and it's uh, emitting cold air. So it's quite a fresh to actually sit here, drink water. But summertime, all this is gone. So this is just a hell hole. And I bet you thought we will start complaining about the heat when it's summer. No, you were wrong. It already starts. In the same time in Finland, there is snow still. It's super cold. So we are grateful to be here, even if we complain. I think uh, it's a, it's a, I don't know if it's European way of complaining always about weather, but at least finished type of living. Every time it's too hot or too cold, never good. We are grateful to be here, like really grateful. Happiest nation ever. <laughs> Complaining about weather. Yeah, about everything. Not everything, just weather. Only weather. We are totally overwhelmed by the beauty of this place. The nature here is stunning, like a divine. We don't have any this gorgeous place in, up in the north in Finland. Rock monastery, really beautiful surroundings. I, I can feel the divine feeling that you have here when you are living on the quarters of the monastery there. Little balconies and lots of uh, monks living here. But no videography or photography inside of the monastery. We will approach the danger. Let's go. So this is an abandoned monastery, which was built 900 after Christ. And you can see how low these rooms has been then. And the monks have lived here, so it's been a tough job to be servant of God. And yeah, still something left from the old church, the chapel they have here, and the buildings, how they looked like back in the days. Yeah, this was uh, the secret school, or it was hid from the Ottomans' rule, so they could actually still worship their own gods. This is really interesting. And also the sites from this part, side of the courts are divine, like you can see why they built a monastery here. Really loving old things and abandoned things. You can still see the paintings in the walls just a little bit I think five or ten years and they are gone but still there are some paintings left on the walls I like it history is really great and seems like they had some kind of spring fed water system in the monastery so every room had water flowing so you could drink the most important part of the keeping you alive yeah. you will be fed mentally and physically and not dead as everyone else on that time I thought the religion makes you really peaceful, but we just met the father that was kind of see you next Thursday kind of father that complaining about kids having a short and not appropriate clothing. Come on, they are just kids. Eight hundred meter climb to the monastery in the end of the path and coming back 
It was quite uh, demanding. Yes. Wow, I'm so tired. I'm so out of shape. So it was horrible. So we have been just uh, laying on the beach the whole winter. So <laughs> now <laughs> we shows. have. It shows really well. There was a lot of people. It's a Sunday, so that's why there's a lot of people. There was bus loads of people on some part. <laughs> really nice hike. Yeah. I like it a lot. One of the nicest hikes that I have done in Greece. We are almost at the van. And Gonna... van paranoia kicks in. Is our van safe or not? And I'm just <laughs> waiting for food. Not paranoid about food. But first we will go swimming. Best part of every hike. Yeah. Go deep in the cold river. To wash Col away all the sweatness. Cold beer would be much better, but, oh. but now we don't have any. Back at the van, safe and sound, and our van is completely okay. It's a disaster, a mess here. It took four hours the hike to yeah. make. 840 meters of climbing, so that's quite a lot. It was just 5.5 kilometers in total. <laughs> Not even long way. Oh my god, I'm so out of shape. Thank you, Jani, spending time with me in the beautiful nature. That's my honor. We love this nature, this. Everybody's leaving. We will cook some food because we are hungry AF. And then we will scout the place to spend the night. I'm already eating. Best pet up bread ever. This hike, I think the top five or top ten hikes in the whole Europe. It was really nice. We basically went through whole gorge in here. It was nice. It was nice that it was not too hot in the valley and you could see two beautiful monasteries. Those monasteries that are in the wall stuck there, it's, it's, it's unique. It's really nice to see those different kind of monasteries and they really use a time and effort to make them look good. What a wonderful day! We are knackered. Gonna plan to go up on that elevation over there to spend the night and watch for the sunset. Doing nothing. There is a 4G connection so we can be in the internet and just uh, lay in the bed. I think that is the best option at the moment. Lay in the bed with your sore feet. Maybe I massage, massage some Sarah's feet. This is the one of the most scariest roads. That I have ever driven and I think top five most scariest roads are always been in Greece. There's a three 600 meter drop just beside us. There's no railings. The tarmac is like a half dismantled on the side. So yeah, driving there would be 600 meter fall. Then that's the gas landed and found the overnight in spot. Beside the road, but it's just going to the small town, which is uh, active only on a winter time because there's a ski resort. Otherwise, completely died. Beautiful spot to spend the night. Calm, maybe a little cold in the night time because we are on the pine tree region. So we are at that height. Yes, there is a road going just by us, but as I said, there ain't traffic at this time of year. Gorsa's amazing place suits for the one night parking and the sandstorm Kalima Sahara sand from Africa is still here so everything is really cloudy and it looks like there's forest fires but it's sand and I think the sand actually comes from Libya because it's not so red color. We can smell the sandy mountain air <laughs> to our lungs. Sometimes the best wild camping spot is just by the road. Just like yesterday. Well, we just 
slept and went away in the morning time. So it wasn't really a wide camping spot, just oh. an overnighting spot. It's just 28 degrees early in the morning, so we have to escape the heatness and come here in the pine tree line. There is a lot of shadow and temperatures did drop 10 degrees, so it's only 18 degrees here at the moment. And 25 minute drive. That gives us hope for the summer, so we can always find a place where we can find Kesähatetuspaikka. Summer hating place, as we call those spots on our map that we have scouted for the summer uh, months. We just got here and pocket our van here. This is kind of trailhead and not very spacious place. And there's this gravel road going by. Over there is some chapel and water. And if we continue this gravel road, there will be stream and some plain area and picnic area. This trailhead is a little unique because you can actually park your van here and not block the whole route. There's a plenty of these routes and trails increase, but nowhere to park your van. Most of the popular routes go next to the highway. So I don't know, do people just jump out of the car and go trekking? Because there's never good parking spot. But this is kind of special place because we can fit here. But the thing is, if somebody else wants to come here, boom, there's not room. Well, maybe smaller cars can park next to the road. We decide where we can spend the night and then we scout the area if there's better places. Yeah. Then we will upgrade. And it was a good call to come here because it is not that boiling hot and we want to go outdoors to walk. And also why we are here, just in this forest, because it's 25 kilometers away from, uh, what is it called? Tripoli. Tripoli. We are awaiting packages from Amazon and from local EIT store to arrive. This is just perfect place for that. Short uh, drive to Tripoli. And Amazon packages seems like they come to the postal office so we can pick them up. They will keep them there for 20 days. And I think 90% of the Greek web shops use ACS. So basically local courier is here really fast and they have offices even in the smaller villages. And you can pick them the packages up from there. And if this Amazon works wonders we are going to use it for no one. So we came by foot to walk among this river and found we could park our van here. I think this is more prettier spot because we are closer to water and it, it's so refreshing to be here next to the breeze, cold breeze. Just a small walk away is a nice picnic place and refreshing spring. At this time of year, the spring water is like uh, really cold. It uh, freezes your mind when you splash it in your face. Still all the leafy trees are without leaves and it's still waiting. But this is best place for us for waiting in the forest. And we get a lot of, lot of ideas about these kind of places if we want to move somewhere. We are always on the look for future homes. Not homes for now, but future homes. So, I don't know. We kind of like this area. It's, it's really pretty. And plenty of these old trees. We absolutely love trees. It has to have a trees. We like to burn trees. Today's easy foresty hike has been great because there's not much ascending or descending. Ascent is the right way to pronounce it, I think. Just walking in the shadows and then changing our spot next to the river. Are you excited about our riverside camping yes, spots? Yes, riverside camping spots are always best, as washing the station just beside you. Exactly. And mosquitoes do not scare us. If it fits, it sits. This is our camping spot. 
I think this some kind of old uh, hiking route structures that are already been abandoned and left to rot. The roof is gone and everything. But just this is perfect. Nobody else. 